What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling with me AV that's right you read the title so you know I'm doing these oxtails and listen this is just another entry into hashtag soul food Sunday hey you guys got to go by and take a look at it check it out this started last year again with a, a channel called soul food cooking go by take a look at what they drop you know what and then research that hashtag if you guys use that search bar soul food sunday and you get a chance to see all the other channels that participated so look i'm gonna just start off by just showing this right here look i got a little bit over four pounds right it's like 4.2 uh two pounds of oxtails got these i'm gonna go ahead and clean these and get these ready okay i'll show you guys this right here this total right here is just a this is a cup and this is a half a cup of all-purpose flour. You want to separate it because some of this is going to go on these in the beginning when we brown. And this right here is going to help make our gravy. Then, of course, right here, we got our W sauce. We got a little bit of this minced garlic. And I just went ahead and just trimmed and, you know, peeled this back. This is my onion. This is like a large onion because it's going to be an onion gravy, right? Okay, and right here, look, we got three cups of this. Look, this is the beef broth. This is where we're going to get our flavor, you know, for that gravy, right? And then right here, this is what we're gonna use. This right here is just a half a cup of vegetable oil. And this is what we're gonna use to go ahead and start browning everything. This right here is what I'm gonna be using, you know, to season my uh, oxtails, right? Now, everybody's not gonna have that. This is that beef and pork rub, worked very, very good. I made this twice using this since I started really like focusing in on this product right here. You wanna talk about the flavor? This right here has it. I know I've been all over it, but you guys gonna have to give it a chance. Now. I'm gonna move this off to the back. If you do not have Sweet Smoky Joe's right here, this beef and pork rub, you can get yourself some onion powder. You can get yourself some salt. And I put some thyme in here. And then I got right here, this right here is just gonna be for my uh, black pepper. This will suffice, but when you wanna go over the top, you gotta use that rub. Okay, look, got my oxtails, I already opened them up. What I did was I rinsed them, I set them in some cold water with a cap full of lemon juice, you know, just to clean them. Then I re-rinsed them, and what I did was I patted them dry. Now, what I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start with my W sauce, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just add this, because this right here is gonna help this, you know, our seasons and everything stick to it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my, you know, my beef and pork rub. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some in here, on here. Now, I can't tell you guys exactly how much, because it depends on how much oxtail how many pounds of oxtails you have, you know, and how much flavor you want. So I'ma just say, hey, you wanna start somewhere around around a teaspoon. Now, you remember I had you guys separate, we went ahead and separated our flour, right? So this right here was that half a cup. We're gonna go ahead and add that. And then you wanna get yourself a, a spoon, a wooden spoon, or any type of uh, rubber spatula, or whatever, and then you just wanna turn these over. So what we're doing right now is we're just getting everything coated. Now, once we got everything coated, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring my oil up to temp, and then we're gonna go ahead and start to brown the oxtails. Put that flavor on there, right? Now that it's up, what I'm gonna do is, we just wanna set them in here like this. And we're gonna put some of that flavor on there. Now remember, I'm using an induction top, right? So that's why I'm forming my oxtails around this little circle ring towards the center, because that's where the heat is coming. Then when you're done, they should look just like this. You can see the flavor on those oxtails and those are gonna be good. Now, as you can see, I browned all of these. Now I'm taking them off, just giving it a little shake so it'll drip. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting it inside of the crock pot, right? Now here, you can see, I just cut my onion in half and then I just sliced them down so I can get some long pieces. I just like to be able to see my, uh, my onions so that they drape over those oxtails. Okay, so, what I did was, if you look right here in the grease, I took out like the, the bigger charred pieces that, you know, came off of the oxtails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back up to temp. As Soon as this becomes up to temp, we're gonna go ahead and start introducing our flour. But we're gonna introduce it real slowly, right? So let the oil come up and then we go from there. Okay, my oil is up to temp. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna introduce just about half of it. I'm using a metal, a metal whisk. You know what I mean? This works just fine especially since I'm using a cast iron skillet, right? So we're just gonna move this around just like you see here. And we're gonna just keep doing this till we get all of our oil incorporated, you know, with the flour, and then we'll add the second half of it. This right here, just to ensure that we don't have any clumps, you know, stuff like that. Keep it, you know, keep that heat steady. Keep your arm moving, that wrist, arm, elbow, hand, everything. And what we're doing right now is we just 
getting it mixed thoroughly and we incorporating it so that you know when you see it starting to thicken up that's fine because look we want to darken it up now one of the things about gravy is the longer we cook it the darker it gets so i know you guys are going to hit me up down in the comment section below and start talking to you about about a roux but that's exactly what we're doing okay so you see it's getting it has gotten thick now we're going to take our beef broth and we just want to start adding just a little bit to it and here's where the key you want to keep it moving here right so we'll just keep moving it around like this we'll get about about that much in there and we'll just move it around get it incorporated it'll get smooth and it'll be thick once i got all of these lumps out of here then we'll add some more to it now we'll add the last bit of broth to it you can see it's nice and thick but don't forget we're gonna cook this for eight hours right so it's gonna we want it to be just a little loose but we want it to kind of like be thick because after eight hours it's gonna be you know it's gonna thin out so we'll just go like this i just reduce my heat a little bit and then once i have it to the consistency that i'm looking for then i'm gonna go ahead and add my onions now the reason i didn't do my onions because i don't want them to cook down too much you know, normally we render the onions, right? We get those to cook down and give those a head start. But reason being, we got eight hours, believe me, it's gonna cook down. And you wanna be able to see them too, you know? So, I like this, I'm gonna go a little, I think it'll just take it all, that's fine. So that was the rain, remainder, you know, that was the remainder of our, of our uh, beef broth. So we'll just incorporate this. See that right there? That's what I'm looking for. Now, before I even add the onions, I'm gonna go ahead and taste it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a couple of teaspoons of uh, a couple of generous pinches of, of this kosher salt. You know what I mean? We're just gonna wake it up just a little bit. And don't forget, it's gonna take on the flavor, you know, of our oxtails, right? So I just wanna like wake it up just a little bit, give it a little head start on the flavor, and then we go from there. All right, so for this amount, I'm gonna go ahead and give it three pinches, right? And then we'll taste it from there. And that right there is real nice. So what I'm gonna do is, now we're gonna take our onions that we cut. I'm just gonna do them like this. Doesn't make a difference how many onions you put in there. This right here was like 80% of a large onion, right? Now once you got your gravy on top of uh, your onions, go ahead and introduce your minced garlic. And then under like a medium heat, go ahead and mix it all up. Okay, so now we'll just take this and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour it over the top just like you see here. You want to go ahead and get yourself a, like a, a rubber, you know, a spatula or something like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure you get it all in here. Okay, so now you can see we got it all in here, right? So only thing I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure everything is coated. It doesn't make a difference, because listen, it's kind of thick, but it's going to thin out, and as it cooks, it's going to start to settle. So we got this straight, now let's go ahead and set the timer. Okay, so what we're going to do is, Go ahead and turn the power on. Look, this is key. You want to put it on high, and then we're going to put our time at eight hours. Then we're going to hit start. See right there, it says cooking, and we good to go. I'm probably going to check it at four hours just to see where we at and see how everything's settled. Then I'm going to put the lid back on, and then we're going to let it continue cooking for the remainder of the time. Okay, let me bring you up to speed. Listen, at four hours, I went ahead and took the lid off, and I know if we looking, we ain't cooking, right? But anyway, listen, I had to look, check it just to see where we was at. I know all crock pots are just about the same, but you know what? Uh, I just want to make sure we got the accurate time on this, right? So I decided after checking it, I said, we're going to go to six hours, then we're going to check it. I just checked it at the end of exactly six hours, and when I tell you it's soft and succulent, that's what it is. So go ahead, let's take a look. Now, Look at this right here. Oh yeah, man, this right here, poured over some rice. Oh my goodness. Just look at that right there. You can see the onions. Now remember when I was telling you guys in the beginning, this is why I didn't want to like render down them onions. Cause listen, it's gonna cook for a while and they're nice and soft. You can just see them and you want to have them, you know, like draped over, you know, your, uh, over your oxtails. Now, I'm gonna just show you right here so you guys can just see just how soft it is. Look how it just goes in with no resistance kind of like breaks apart. So what I'm gonna get ready to do is I'm gonna make me a plate. I got some rice, I'm gonna have it with some broccoli, and then we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste test. Now, 
I'll put this in right now so you guys can just see. You can just look look at that right there. I don't always serve my oxtails over rice, which is probably like more traditional. Sometimes I like to put mine right next to some garlic mashed potatoes, you know. But anyway, look, check this out. Look at that gravy. Look at that consistency. That's why we made it thick. Because once it renders down and mixes with that oxtail, you know, all of the renderings, that's what you come up with. Soul Food 101. Now, you guys just seen how, you know, how succulent and tender it is. So here it is, got me a little broccoli on that. You know how we do, we do a little meat, a little mixture of your vegetables, and then we go from there. So, cheers, y'all. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 I gotta go in. Make sure I get a little bit of that rice and that gravy, right? <laughs> Again. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, here's a word you don't hear, you know, too much on my channel. Listen, I'm speechless. You talking about soul food? This is it, 101, you know, hands down. Hey, super easy to make. You know what I mean? The crock pot do all the work. Listen, they can be made on the stove. I don't want to over talk it. I want you guys to go out and, you know, just, you know, try this if you hadn't. And if you have had it before, you know what I'm talking about right now. Go ahead and make this and let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Now, don't forget, this is the last of the Soul Food Sundays, right? So listen, we got to look at that hashtag on YouTube. Go to the search bar. Hashtag Soul Food Sunday and take a look at this one. Go to Soul Food Cooking and look at their video. Go by and check out CJ. You know, BZQ got one in there. It's just a whole lot of people that have dropped it. And listen, I'll be in awe myself when I watch it. So I don't want to ramble. I don't want to over talk it no more. You guys, listen, I just want to eat it. So check this out. Listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And for those of you guys who have been watching me for a minute, you know what I'm about to say. I'm out of here. Peace.